Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Live from Harlem in New York, it's the Ramble with me. I'm Alex Bennett, and we keep going till midnight tonight on the East Coast. Oh, people from my life, come back to haunt me. You begged me to come back. <laughs> I know I did. No, I, I didn't come back to haunt you. I know I did, and you're you're not exactly easy to get. Oh, what are you talking because you're about? You're so busy down there in Florida. I mean, I well, can't imagine the the just the the problems you've got just making your schedule work. You know. Well, by by the way, we now call it De Florida. De so. Florida. De Florida. De, De Florida. Did you see uh, what's his name? Bob Iger has really not taken any crap from him from DeSantis. He he shouldn't. And, and what he said was. You know, he says, DeSantis is just stupid about this whole thing. He said, we give a billion dollars a year to the state of Florida in taxes. We employ, we're the second largest employer in the state of Florida, state of Florida being the first. Right. Okay. And, and, and he's, he's right to do that. And DeSantis is making a big mistake because the people in this state Second to guns, love Disney more than anything, and I would say probably theme parks, the Disney and the Universal. Well, and because those. it it has it has given a commerce to Florida that it would have never had. Not only a commerce, but but a reputation as being a fun place to go. In addition to what the cruise lines do, it's just a fun place to go. It's nice. The climate is good. Come here and have a good time. And that's what that's the one thing yeah. I think all Floridians have in common is to say, hey, we really enjoy, you know, the the, the comfort we have anyway. And he's ruining that. Uh, several other states have said, come come here. You know, we want you. We want this kind of business. Pay. What? Why wouldn't they? Yeah. That's big money. You know, big I money. mean, I often said that if Iger really wanted to put the challenge out to DeSantis, he could just say, listen, we'll just close up shop and go somewhere else, but we're going to keep the, we're going to keep this property right. and we're not going to let you use it. You know, that's that's what I thought from the start. You know, Why I mean, you don't want it. OK, great. You'll lose a billion dollars in taxes and you'll lose uh all the all the business that comes here and all the jobs it creates we forgot about that part of it you know yeah so yeah. i mean you know i mean it, it, desantis is stupid he's just really stupid with this whole thing you don't pick a fight with a mouse okay probably not a good idea at least not that mouse right but uh, anyway, so good, you know. It, 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 um, uh, but you you got DeSantis down there, and I don't know what the love is for him in that state. You know, he's done really nothing for it. You know, I I can't figure it out either. But people apparently want to have this guy as their governor. Yep, I we'll guess. See how long it lasts? And I'm if he abandons the state midway because he has higher aspirations, then the voters will speak again. And and we'll find out what happens to him. Yeah, yeah. He, he could he could he could lose anything he runs for in the future if he runs before his term is over here. Well, certainly this whole Disney debacle is something that could be held against him. You know, I, so. I mean, he's he's jeopardizing the state, and and you know these special uh, districts or so on that were created that they're claiming that Reedy Creek has now. And yeah. they're taking, they're going to take it away from them. There are a thousand other exceptions of that sort throughout the state of Florida. Of course, of course. From retirement How homes business to yeah. businesses and so on, they get this special dispensation. Uh, so, I mean, it's not like Disney has this special deal that nobody else has, and it's, you know, it's horrible yeah. because they're getting tax breaks and blah, 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 blah. No, in fact, you know, Disney, for instance, in that part of the world, because they have control over it, 
they own and operate the fire departments, mm -hmm. the police departments, all of that. The state doesn't have to pay a penny for that sort of thing. And uh, it's it's really been it's a, it's an amazing it's an amazing thing that he even challenged Disney this way. It will be an interesting outcome. Yeah. Because uh, there's a lot of a lot of a lot at stake. And Disney has the right to sue them too, saying Absolutely. all we did was Absolutely. disagree with a, a policy that the state undertook mm -hmm. and we disagreed with it. That's free speech. We have the right to do that just like anybody else and now we're being penalized for it. He threatened, one of the things that will not look good in court is that he threatened to build a prison next door to Disney World. Well, we'll see if it goes to court or whether he relaxes his, uh, his tone. Or whether by the time it does go to court, DeSantis is even governor. Yeah. That could change, too. Yeah. I, mean, I suspect he will be. Mm. What has he got, another two years? Something like that? I don't even Something know. Something like that. But, you know, the things take forever to go through the courts. You know, I learned that myself in my own situation. It took us nine years before we had a settlement. That's what the rich and powerful bank on. The fact that it will take so long. Oh, it, 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 it exhausts the little guy. It ate up, uh, let me see here. It ate up uh, about $175,000 of our money. Mm -hmm. to keep this apartment. Now, granted, it still only brings our rent down to about 1800 a month during that period of time, you know, and now it's only 500 because of the decision by the judge. But, I mean, it, it's been, uh, you know, it's just been horrible. It's just been horrible. And so yeah. when you talk about the DeSantis situation, yeah, it'll be a little faster, but it's not. it may be more than two years that it's going to take to wind its way through the courts. And then they always do the other thing. You go through this whole court battle, and then they say, well, we're going to appeal this to the appellate court. So that, that takes another that's, year. That's part of the process now. It's automatically, you have to think it's going to go through that's appeal what, after that, appeal after that's appeal. That's what happened to us. They, they, Everybody. Well, well, here in New York, you have to appeal within, I think, six months. And then the appeals court comes back with a verdict on that in about three months, two or three months. So... In our case, the appeals court uh, heard the heard the landlord, and then said, "Uh-uh, nah, nah, you don't have a good case. Go back. To, we go back to the original verdict by the judge." And then can't they appeal it to a higher court? I don't think there they, there are a few things my lawyer said they could do, but it's very hard to do. And they once you've lost your appeal, uh, that's it pretty much. That that's oh. pretty much the end of the game. Okay. Unless you're very rich, then you can keep appealing. And well, appealing. I mean, it all depends how much you want to play the clock out right. with us. You know, you're gonna you're gonna charge us, make us spend this money constantly over and over and over again. You know, and how much money are they willing to spend? You know, there here's the deal with us. So we get this apartment for five hundred dollars a month now. Big deal. You know, okay. So how old are we? I'm eighty three. Yeah. Marjorie is eighty. Uh, just wait for us to drop dead. Then you can do whatever you want to with this apartment. And that's what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just wait it out. Wow. Well, you know, that's yeah. why I plan to live to be 100, just to piss that's those what, people forget off. Forget about 100. Go to 120. Forget I'm going about for, I'm that. going for anything I can, you know. Absolutely. Screw the, screw the system. Yeah. So Stick it's, it to the man. So, but otherwise, you like Florida, don't you? Um, okay, well, that answers. I'd say, I'd say <laughs> as much as I like anywhere else, I like my little my little four walls. That's you know the rest is like being anywhere else. It's the same crappy stores all over the place, the same big big box stores, mm -hmm. the same uh, traffic everywhere you go. It's no different. Yeah. You except any? except here, there's no state income tax. That's one of the good things. Really? Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, it's not so it's either here or Nevada or I forgot what the other income tax states are. I, I always get a lot of money back from the state of New York. Yeah, I never did. That's one yeah. of the reasons I left. I, 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 I do. Uh, I, I don't know why, you know, but I leave that up to my business manager who oh. does the taxes every year. Okay. You know, but um, um, you know, have you thought about moving out of Florida? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And if, and if I do, it'll probably be out of the country. 
you know something I don't blame you you know we're 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 going to spend a lot of time out of the country in a while I mean mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to happen with Gabnet I'm going to have to figure out how to keep it going uh, I may do some shows from overseas or whatever but where are you going we don't know we haven't figured it out completely they're where they're all kind we we have the ability we're going to have the ability very soon to really stay on permanent vacation oh you know so and i won't say how but i would you know a permanent vacation mm -hmm. uh and uh we just we can we want to just travel the world you know we uh, uh, i've been looking at places like fiji you know for a couple of weeks I don't know anything about fiji but uh, it sounds nice it's nice if you're there for a couple of weeks i don't know you know your back will still hurt in Fiji. My back so will still different? hurt. Well, I can't walk that well anymore. I mean, I can walk, but it's not like I used to do. Okay. They, they have wheelchairs in Fiji. Yeah, I guess. I guess you know. Yeah, those rickshaws guy. I think. I, I don't know. Maybe and, I'm. And being, all these countries will hire some guy to drive us around, or woman to drive us around. That's right. Maybe you should get one of those cruise cruise uh, cabins that you st stay on the ship. You live on the ship and you go to different ports of call, you know, for years on end. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I, if, I, if you're okay with being on a ship, you know. Well, Marjorie has always been against uh, cruises. And I don't like the idea of a cruise either. And, and the problem is, is that, you know, you really are stuck on this boat with, what, 4,000 other people in some of the cases of some of these ships. I don't think it would be that bad if, if it's one of those live-on ships. That well, live-on ship is different, but I'm yeah. talking about she she was always kind of against cruises, and lately she's warmed up to the thing that she liked. She didn't want to go on one of the big boats, but these uh, long boats they have that you go up uh -huh. and down rivers and things like that, she thinks maybe that might be a good idea. The only you problem, got a room on that. The only trouble I have with that is you pass by like a beautiful castle, you mm -hmm. go, oh, I want to go over there and see what's in that camp. Well, you can't. You yeah. know, you're on this boat, and it's it's got a schedule. Uh, and uh, so uh, that's, that's, that's my trouble with the boats. So far as driving, I'm very happy to drive, except I don't think I can anymore. <laughs> you know? Oh, sure you can. Well, I think about driving, I think about getting behind the wheel and then going on a highway. And that kind of, I don't know, I don't... I don't I'm I'm worried that I don't have the ability anymore. I'm I'm sure if I got behind the wheel of a car, I'd be out of there and doing everything. Well, that's very responsible of you to say because there are a lot of people who will not say that. They yeah. say, I'm perfectly fine driving and they don't see a, a lot of things that are in front of them. Well, I, I, know, get, I get tired. I know several of those people. I get tired and things like uh -huh. that, you know. Tired in a car is not a good idea. Exactly. So, I mean, uh, uh, I have to reconsider that, but I would love to drive through Europe. I love doing that. I love being that, able to say, that, oh, that's a beautiful castle. Let's stop there and look at it, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it would drive me crazy to be in a boat and yell, stop here, okay? Would you would stop over? No, we don't stop. This boat does not stop till we get to the next tourist destination where they're waiting for us so they can sell you trinkets. And uh, Coca-Cola and McDonald's. Yes, of course. And maybe there's an Apple store there. Of course there's an <laughs> Apple store there. Um, but have you thought about maybe, I don't know if they do this, I, I, would, I wouldn't understand why they wouldn't, but have you thought of maybe getting a, a, renting a, a Tesla, which has this, you know, the mostly self-driving feature? Yeah, but I, I uh, now I don't know if I could do that. Why not? You put it on the autopilot or whatever that is. Well, that's fine. You put it on the autopilot, but I just don't know that I could sit there and not have my hand on the wheel or do anything. Well, it, you're would, scare, to have it would scare the crap out of me. Well, well, check it out. Plus, in some states, they're not allowing that feature in a Tesla because they've been having problems with them. Oh. You know, one of the problems is called Elon Musk, but they've been having problems with them, huh. you know? Yeah. How do you feel about Musk? Uh, I, somebody asked me that just recently, and I said, um, Elon Musk offered great promise and has delivered huge disappointment. It, huge disappointment? That was my in, response. In, in response. what? In the Twitter deal? 
in everything in everything he 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 offered the the promise of uh of a future where humans could go further than they've gone before not just in space but technologically mm-hmm. and uh the freedom opened by technology for humans to do more things and he it seems he's gone the other way on those things like, uh, like particularly it. with twitter uh particularly with his uh, love of um uh certain uh financial ideas now um he's just not the guy you, i thought you, he was you, you know the thing is that we have uh and if you bring it up and 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 look at it uh he had such promise as you say mm-hmm. and but he only has i don't care if he's elon musk or whoever most of us only have a certain amount of band- bandwidth okay that we can, in a given day, give to any projects. Uh, and the least worthy of all his prod- projects is Twitter. And it takes up more of a disproportionate amount of time for him to deal with that than it is to deal with all the other companies which are important. I think Tesla is important. I think what they did... Tesla he, was important. What Well, what he did was he pushed an entire industry towards electric. Right. Okay. And made a very popular car. There hasn't been a new popular car company to come out in years, and Tesla's it. But he changed the the nature of the way we drive our cars, okay? And that's important because that utilizes a lot of our energy. Uh, He then started SpaceX, which was a wonderful, wonderful thing, you know? What he was able to do with SpaceX. Uh, the fact that he was able to make sending stuff up to space cheap, inexpensive in comparison. NASA's still spending a fortune on those rockets. And yeah, he's that's not, what he's they not even worried about the rockets. He has like 20 of them on the launching pad ready to test. And yeah, some of them go bad. The last one didn't go bad. They blew it up. Yeah, yeah. They never had any intention of that thing going into space. It was going to land in the Atlantic Ocean or the Pacific or the Gulf or I don't know right, where. Right. And so he, you know, I mean, he has all these rockets ready to go. Okay, that one didn't work. Put this one on there. Okay, let's go. It, it, it he has a wondrous company going there. And, uh, you know, I mean, when uh, NASA sent up their last rocket, the one that's going to, that went around the moon and mm-hmm. so on, do you know what the rockets were on that? The same rockets they used on yeah. the space shuttle. Right. That's not what te- what what Musk is doing. He's reinvented. But that, but that it's two different ways to approach things. NASA does things in a very different way, and they test in a in, in a different way than the. You know way why? Because they're gov- they're governmental, and well, that's true. And he's cor- true. and he's corporate. Right. You know. they, they have to go through certain paces before they can get something done. Right. And right. have to do that. Right. He can have a rocket blow up on, on the pad if it happens, and he'll just build another one. Yeah. Or he'll have the second one of these building coming up behind it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not, it, with, with him, it's not a, a but he he's the guy who can get us to Mars. He's the guy who can really get us to the moon. In fact, NASA's counting on him to get us to the moon, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, and he, he, who's taking everybody up to the up to the space station? SpaceX. SpaceX for now. For now. For Other, now. Otherwise, we'd be asking the Russians for a for a lift. You well, know? I, I I wouldn't necessarily say that. I, I I will say that that he was instrumental in breaking ground in those things in the electric car. And if he had not, somebody else would have. Yeah. And he has been instrumental in breaking the ground for commercial space in the way that he did. And if he didn't, somebody else would. Maybe Bezos would not have just had these little uh, sightseeing trips <laughs> up, up, up to the... Up and to then the again, he may have. You know, Bezos. I mean, you would think that Bezos would want to follow Musk's lead, but he hasn't. I don't, I don't, I don't, think, he, I don't think he thinks like that anymore. You can't. He, it, M- Musk is so far ahead of him in, in that development, I don't think he can anymore. Yeah, but... You know, I think Musk has a, a, a personality problems. You know, well, he's autistic. He's autistic, and people, well, people, most people don't know that, and they don't understand what's so weird about him. Okay, but he's autistic, 
And uh, he, uh, you know, he's not the most likable human being in the world, but then you have to look at his accomplishments, and they're pretty impressive. Pretty, mm -hmm. Except for Twitter. That thing was a total waste of his time. I still don't understand what that was about. I, was that about free speech or him? It was a pissing match. It, it was a pissing I don't understand match. that. It was all. a pissing match, and he said, I got enough money to buy you. Okay. You know, so now my we, question is, I'm not on Twitter, so I don't know. But my question is, if, if it's such a big thing and everybody's in an uproar, where's the next Twitter? How come there is? How come that hasn't come yet? If there's a business in it, why isn't there another yeah. Twitter? Yeah. yeah. Where exactly. Where is it? I mean, if Facebook, it's so important. Why hasn't somebody come up with this? Another one like that. Facebook is still, you know. But that's as that's as that's as disgusting still, as Twitter is. But no, they try still trying to make money, you know, yeah. and they're not uh, they're well, not doing it. But coming on e Elon Musk, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, something. I sent you two transcripts yeah. of, uh, I guess, conversations that I recently had online. And one of them was uh, a conversation about uh, destructive behaviors of humanity. And the other was about ethics in humanity. Mm -hmm. And bo and you've, uh, you you right. probably took a look at the transcripts. They're about yeah. four four pages each. Yeah, I ask a few questions. I get some feedback. I don't know if you realize, but these transcripts are with OpenAI's Chat GB GBT. Yeah, well, I I realize that because I've used Chat GBT and I yeah. noticed the little logos there and stuff right. like that. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And I was fascinated that this is as comprehensive as it is that the, that the feedback was as comprehensive as it is and i know it's not close to being finalized or as good as it can be but uh but i i wanted to find out since we're talking about musk uh what you and by the way musk thinks that the ai is going to take over and uh destroy humanity which is why he left open AI. I think he was one of the founders or he was initially on the board or maybe the chairman of the board. He was high up in, in yeah, but open AI. Uh, you know, by leaving something like that, you're not going to stop it from happening anyway. No, I, un I understand know? that. But he left it f for some reason. I thought it was because uh, he, he, he didn't like Well, he's it. against all the AI stuff, but... Uh, AI but I just read that he started a new company just last month that was AI based. So right. I don't understand that either. Well, maybe he wants it to be a more moral AI. You know, what happened is he came out a while back with this whole AI thing. Mm -hmm. And I went online. By the way, I have a spot that I'm going to have somebody read that was completely generated by AI for, the, for GabNet. This is, this is what I was getting to as well. Yeah, just, was, just was to show, that, see how, how good it could be. And actually, it was pretty close. It's damn good. But Don't you know what it didn't lack? You know what it lacked, what all AI lacks, even that thing you sent me? It lacks a human personality. Now? I, you know, a human personality is a function I don't think you can artificially replicate. Okay, but uh, let's say... Ask AI to write a, <laughs> write a joke, and I don't think it's going to write a very funny joke. But let's say 50 years ago, and you saw the transcripts that I sent you, would you have believed that a computer could do that without well, 50 any 50 years ago, I'd say, what computer? <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, so. That's the whole thing. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I, I don't let it, I, it, it it's, a, it's, a, it's a whole world that the news people are so happy to exploit and talk about, and, oh, what's going to happen with AI? Is it going to do this? Is it going to do that? AI's been around for quite a while. Maybe mm -hmm. not to the sophistication that it is now. But we knew it was coming. Nobody complained about it. Hell, you know what AI does? AI knows to call you and do a robocall. Right. You know, so, I mean, AI's been there for the longest time. I started saying the other day to myself, you know what I think the problem of this world is? computers <laughs> you know it it like changed the game for everything it, and it what's even, the problem with computers well i would have to I, we're coming towards the end of this uh, thing here so maybe well, we'll have a part two in a couple we'll, of weeks. we'll do a part two um and uh i'll explain to you that i just you know i you know me and computers you know how i've been look, yes chuck schumer um mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh uh 
uh, you know Better that get that debt ceiling figured out, Chuck. If anybody has been uh, really hot on on computers over the years, it's been me. Right. Uh, but I'll have to uh, I have to deal with that on another day. In fact, stick around. Maybe we'll do another one of these and finish it off, and play it next week. Okay. Hey, that's uh, that's Albert Reynoso. Uh, I don't have to tell you what he used to do for me, but he he was very important in my life. And thank I you. thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Albert Reynoso. Goodbye. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, hello there, everybody. Uh, that was an old uh, interview I did with uh, Albert. Um, gee, I wonder, is this, is this, oh, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta do something here, folks. Just hold on a second, while I, uh, uh, while I do something here, to kind of get this. You see, I, I never do anything right. Okay, always do it all wrong. Okay, here we go. We go over here. Uh, let me um, zoom uh, in a, a little bit here, and then I can move this over here. Wait a minute. Move this over here, and there we go. Now we're we're just fine, okay? I think. Are we? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. All right. Okay. Every you know, I I always have this happen after I go away for a couple of days. And I come back and I don't have everything right back in shape. Um, plus, I'm extraordinarily tired lately. I don't know what it is. I gotta. I maybe I gotta go see a doctor about this. I don't know why I'm this way. That's it. Anyway, uh, hello. How are you? I, I, oh, the reason I had an old interview with Albert was because it, I wasn't going to run Albert tonight, but I didn't have anything to run. Uh, and what I was going to do, and, and this was kind of interesting, I guess, what I was going to do uh, was I was going to have uh, Farnham on. Uh, Chuck For Farnham, I was supposed to do some uh, some stuff with him today, and he couldn't because his uh, stepfather died. Now, under normal conditions, I suppose you go, okay, the stepfather dies, you know, you, you've gotten used to him, you know him, you love him, you know, but you don't get that grieving. He's known this guy since he was in grade school. You know why? Because his... His stepfather was his best friend, okay? So he couldn't do it today, and he says he'll do it next week, but I couldn't do it today, so caught at the last minute with nothing to put up. I figured there's nothing worse than, uh, nothing better, rather, than uh, doing uh, Albert, okay? So that's what we did. Anyway, but I'm just, I'm so tired all the time. Jeez almighty. Now, it could just be because it's winter, you know, and that makes you really tired, but uh, it's just everything's driving me crazy. Anyway, let me just uh, bring some people in here. Uh, let's uh, let's go over and uh, bring in uh, all our people here. Here they go. Here they go. And uh, let me let me just uh, turn on the zoom here. And there we are. Oh, look who we've got already. We've got uh, Alan, and we've got uh, Brian, and we've got uh, the lovely and attractive Charlie Wallace. Hello, Charles. Are you there? It's it's connecting, to, connecting to audio. Oh, he's connecting to audio. Okay. Charlie, are you, are you, you're not connected to your audio. Oh, well, anyway. We'll wait and see what happens here. So we can talk bad about the Cowboys and he can't talk back to us. That's nice. Yeah, really. <laughs> what are you going to talk bad about the Cowboys? What did the Cowboys ever do to you? A lot of stuff. What do you mean? Heart, heartbreak. 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 Wait a minute. He, <clears throat> I think he's trying to find out why his uh, audio isn't connecting. Huh. Typical, typical Wednesdays, nothing works. Plus, my my uh, video still is not solid. I don't know. And 
I, I, I don't know why. The, okay. I almost we're talking about bad about the Cowboys. I, 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 I almost, uh, oh, yeah, we were talking trash about the Cowboys there. Uh, and now we have to, oh, there's Jeff. And now, mm -hmm. he, now he's got to, yeah, get your camera up there. His uh, engineer's there. Don't worry. Pam's there. Oh, Pam's Pam. there. <laughs> I see. I hope we paid you good. Hi, Pam. <laughs> Real good. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, she's our new uh, tech support uh, for Jeff. Um, anyway, so hello to all of you. Hi. Um, so I'm too tired to talk. All of you should talk. I don't know. I, uh, uh, I think this is a first for Jeff. He doesn't have his uh, browser on. No, but no, he's, he, a but couple because, weeks ago, he did it on his own a couple times. Yeah, Pam, quick, quick. yeah but Pamela was there, right? But did you do it on your own, Jeff? <clears throat> yeah, that part, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, see? <laughs> Eventually, um, before I die, uh, he will... Yeah, I'll, uh, be, uh, I'll be dead with you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he'll be dead with me. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, so how have you... Did you all have a good weekend? Very much. Yeah. Yeah. Did you... Yeah. By the way, Alan, did you send me something... No. Somebody sent me two DVDs via, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, eBay. It's nothing, eBay. Nothing I ordered, but it was of like what? something that was ordered for me. Of what? A copy of the movie Freaks. And there was another thing which I can't remember the title of. Huh. And I, I don't, I thought it might be Alan, you know. No, no, I wouldn't send you a DVD of it, Phil. It's not me because I send you a shirt and I, uh, my sense of humor was a little bit different than yours, I guess. So I'm not sending you anything else. Oh, mm -hmm. no, no, you can send me all, you can send me everything you want to. My sense of humor was growing up with you. So it's your fault if you don't get my sense of humor. <laughs> I'm sorry. You understand You understand that, right? Yes, I understand. You were, you were a big influence on a lot of people's sense of humor. And if they <laughs> liked your sense of humor, they listened to you every single morning, Monday through Friday. And now it's coming back to bite me in the ass. Mm. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so it, what you're saying is you didn't have a life when you were a kid, Brian. No, I told the story before. I used to work for Ansel Adams' daughter, and the granddaughter I started working with, and we used to blast it in the warehouse. We used to blast Alex in the warehouse. All of us listened to it, so it was a lot of fun. So you worked for Ansel Adams' daughter? Yeah, Ann Adams Helms, yeah. <clears throat> and we, we took care of all his note cards and postcards, and I'd manage his warehouse. Mm -hmm. And then his daughter took over, sorry, his granddaughter took over the business. And her and I went to a couple of breakfasts with the Bennetts. Oh, really? Yeah. I, if yeah. I had known that, I would have been thrilled to meet, you know. Yeah. No, I didn't Adams. want to tell you. I said, you know, I'll, I'll meet you, you know, 30, 40 years later and tell you the story. Uh, about Ansel Adams' daughter <laughs> being in my audience. <laughs> I see. Okay. I hear. I knew. heard about her. She was zoned out, wasn't she? Who? What? Ansel what Adams' mean, daughter was zoned out. What do you mean zoned out? Oh, forget it. Now you didn't get that. Now you didn't get that joke. That's oh, right. no. I didn't. Does Come anybody on. get it? Nope. 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 Ansel Adams. Are you familiar with Ansel Adams? Yeah. yeah. Are you familiar with his bit. photographs? Yes. Well, he yeah. used, a to get that kind of look, he used uh -huh. a thing called the zone method. Ah. It was oh. very famous. A lot of photographers study the zone mes method. Because mm. it was uh, it, it was amazing. I mean, he would take all day to shoot one photo yeah. to get that look. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, so I, that's why I pulled that joke out. I heard she was zoned out. Ah, okay, got it. Uh -huh. Oh God, you got to explain it. It isn't worth it. Isn't that what you say? <laughs> so you know, Georgia O'Keeffe is you know another famous photographer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the story goes well, that wait a minute, George O'Keefe. Wait a minute, George O'Keefe was a painter. Yeah, painter. Yeah. No, she did. No, she did photography also. Did so, she really? Yeah. yeah. And know. she did like orchids and stuff like black and white orchids and stuff. Mm -hmm. oh. So the story goes that she gave uh, Ansel a plant, and said, "Oh, it's a tomato plant or whatever." And then the family came over and said, "What are you doing with this marijuana plant in your house <laughs> on the front table?" <laughs> 
So she had a good sense of humor. Oh, hmm. apparently. Apparently yeah. he didn't know what it was. Didn't know, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. wasn't she famous for having all vaginas in all of her paintings? That's the orchid, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, only always sees the brighter things in life. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. You need yep. a T-shirt that shows that. Hmm? Somebody will send you a DVD of it. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, who was it at the Golden Globes that wore a dress that was all covered with vaginas? I don't know. This year? Yeah, this year. Really? Oh. I gotta check it. I can't remember who that was. It was. It was all over. Uh, at the Golden Globes? At the Golden Globes, yeah. 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 Nobody, nobody watched. As, as I like watched. to call them, the phony fuck awards. <laughs> oh, it was, it was uh, Sully from uh, X Files. Jillian. Jillian Anderson? Called? Anderson, yeah. She wore a dress that was all covered with, huh. with uh, you know designs that looked like vaginas. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I knew there was something I loved about her. Oh yeah, yeah. She's not. You know, I thought she was British. She is. No, she's not. Oh, she's <laughs> she, doing a whole bunch of British shows. Wait a minute. She was, I think, born in the United States, and then her parents moved to England. Oh, okay. So she hmm. was raised in England and came out with a British accent as a result of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And she's got a bunch of shows on Acorn TV. This is British television. So. I'll... Yeah. I just assumed she was British. Yeah. So uh, anyway, so the, you know, um, um, what what oh uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, did you hear the big piece of news today about Aaron Rodgers? Well, something happened with Rodgers now. You don't know what's been going on with Rodgers? Well, I know what he. Yeah, he's been saying all kinds of anti-vax crap and stuff no, like that. Oh, that was that vaccine. was one thing. But then he uh, does uh, he uh, he does this weekly shot on Tuesdays with Pat somebody Pat McAfee Pat McAfee over at uh, ESPN, and about a week ago, or maybe it was two weeks ago, he said that he could hardly wait to see the list from uh, 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 Epstein Epstein uh, Epstein's Epstein. list. Oh yeah, because. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel's going to be very surprised when he finds himself on it. Yep. And it turned out, of course, that he wasn't on it. And it was, you know, it was Mac. It was uh, uh, Rogers, Rogers. Really spouting a big lie, and it turned into this big brouhaha. You know, yeah, where they, Kimmel Kimmel cool. told Rogers, you know, if you were man enough, you would uh, you would uh, apologize and so on and so forth. And he never did anything of the su as such. And um, consequently, um, Pat, what's his name again? McAfee. McAfee uh, dumped him from his show. Mm. He's been doing it for four years, and he dumped mm. him from the show. Um, oh. Which I think I'm happy to see him do it. I mean, it was a terrible thing he did to Kimmel. You don't make accusations like that. You don't nope. imply that a guy like uh, Kimmel is a... Is a a pedophile unless he really is and even then it's not your job to do it it's somebody else's job to do it you know so that was what happened with uh, with Aaron Rodgers but uh, Kimmel had a funny line he said um, he got double A's on his report card but that was just in his name <laughs> <laughs> oh anyway that that was that was a bit the big piece of news today. Uh, that and Trump is not going to be allowed. Well, he he would be allowed to speak at his trial in New York, as part of, as to he wanted to sum up the case. Okay, yeah. And the judge said, okay, but here are the way, here here are the limitations of what you can't say. You can't do any campaigning. You can't speak ill of the court. You know, you can't do this and you can't do that. But if you want to sum up the case, that's fine. And Trump wouldn't agree to that, so he's not going to be able to uh, uh, do the summation. I think it's tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, knowing this judge, because he was sure fast, he was sure fast with my case, like about five minutes. Um, 
I think he'll probably come out with something before the end of the week. I think he's got it written already. You know. So, so Chris Christie's out. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or postponed it. So oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was going to be a great debate today, and then <laughs> I, lo- I lost like five or ten minutes. Then I turned it over to Trump for like five or ten minutes, and then I watched the Warriors, and they're getting blown out by like twenty. Now it's like forty. So I had a terrible night. <laughs> you had a terrible <laughs> night. So did you watch some of the Trump? Yeah, he just does the same old stupid stuff. Oh yeah, if, right when I'm president again, the wars will stop. You know, and all this garbage. Yeah, the the, the gas is going to be down to a dollar ninety a, a, a gallon. Did he say that? He said eight dollars a gallon now. Yeah, <laughs> that is crazy. I, I just paid two thirty nine to fill up my car. Two thirty nine a gallon. Two thirty nine came by water that much here. Yeah, really, not around here. In California, you still have a lot of taxes added. Excuse me, added on. Well, they still do. Yeah, but Gavin Newsom said we're going to take a break from all these taxes. We're going to take these taxes off for a while and until we recover, and then. Uh, really? When did he say that? He said it last year. Last year? Yeah. Well, everybody was supposed to get a tax rebate. I didn't get one. You really? Make and then, the sanctimonious says, uh, you know, they, they, they will say anything to get elected. You know, they they say there's going to be a, a one, you know, certain percentage tax that everybody will pay. Billionaires will pay this, and then when they start talking later, he started, oh well, there'll be a minimum, so certain, you know, like yeah. under a certain amount won't pay tax. But then above a certain number, then everybody's going to pay tax. If you pay 100000 you're going to pay a certain percentage. 200000 the same percentage, so you pay double than the 100%. Yeah, 100, it, uh, you know what happens, though? They, every, they never pass that crap. Well, no, they never get, They never do any of the things they say they're going to do. And then when you say, well, uh, I thought he said he was going to do this to one of his acolytes, uh, they'll come back at you and say, well, you know, that's just politics. Uh, they'll say whatever they got to say to win. He didn't mean it. Well, it, and that's always the excuse, you know, but everybody goes, why are you voting for Trump? Well, because he's going to lower taxes. Then when Trump doesn't lower taxes, they go, well, you know, he's just a politician. I mean, you know, that's what they do. But it's terrible. It's terrible. You know, I think it, I think that uh, we should ho- hold their feet to the flame. You said you were going to lower taxes. You better lower taxes. But you see, they can't lower taxes. That's the point. They can only suggest that taxes get lowered. Who has to lower the taxes? It's got to be the uh, Congress. Got to be the Senate. And then he signs it. What's he doing to do that? He's not doing <laughs> anything. You know. So. Anyway, here comes Kevin. He's coming on. There, there he is. See, there's... Maybe Kevin got a rebate. Huh? <laughs> Kevin lives in California. Maybe he got a rebate. Did you get the gas rebate from last year? How much is it? Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, neither did I. Hmm. Now they have the new Teslas coming out. Longer range. But they... The U.S. cut back on their seventy-five hundred dollar rebate or whatever they're giving for energy savings. They said that you have to buy one of the more expensive models, then you'll get that. Mm. Oh, wow. Why one of the expensive models? What what what's different there? Except maybe you get right. be- better mi- better mileage. Better I mean. mileage, yeah. But oh, really? people were trying to buy you know, the thirty thousand dollar one to get seventy-five hundred dollars off, and then you get a really inexpensive, you know. Energy saving car, but mm-hmm. yeah. No, well, gonna Texas do. is going to get pay higher, make you pay higher get taxes since you aren't buying gasoline. Now, you, you you have a Tesla. Was that seventy five hundred dollars that you got as a check? Uh, I don't know. if She got it. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, <laughs> but I mean, you paid thirty thousand for the car, right? Change, right. Yeah, this one was this one she got was fifty eight. Fifty eight. Okay. Fifty thousand. Yeah. Yeah, and so she got the 7500 So I don't know if that was right up the back, the front, or she had to apply. Because they had like three or four rebates. She got like over $10,000 off. Really? So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So then there was like a $3,000 one and another smaller one. But like one, a couple of them were instant and one they had to apply for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Really? Sounds like the solar thing they did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I know you in New York and all over, but I mean, people from California, uh, Alan and Kevin, man, we, we see Teslas like three or four in a row that look exactly alike. You know, I mean, they're, they're, I don't know what the percentage is here, but I know in the Bay Area, it's the most Teslas. In, 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 it's just crazy how many Teslas are here. You I, just drive up and down the street and they're nonstop going by. Yeah. yeah. And that's, you know, that, you know, that's why it. it's one of the biggest selling cars in America. But you can't say the same thing for New York. I very rarely see them in New York. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Europe, it's like yeah. if you see a Lamborghini here, yeah. I've seen videos in Europe and they're like, oh, my God, there's a Tesla. <laughs> it's like crazy. Well, I would imagine maybe if I went upstate, there'd be more Teslas than there are in New York. But in New York, <laughs> uh, to begin with, where do you charge them? Yeah, you gotta. You have to put a charge. Like people put charges in the house, like in the driveway. Yeah, but you gotta That's have a house. You gotta. But you have, have to have a house. Yeah. If, if you yeah. have an apartment, where do you charge yeah. it? Where do you charge it? I know there's a charger, Alex, by my bank, two blocks down, Massport Federal. There's, they have a couple of charges in the parking lot. Do they pay for that when you like? If you guys park your car, is that free or do you have to pay for that? Pay for what? Most, yeah, most of them. Charger, to- like if it's in the bank, do they get money for that? You must swipe your card then. No, you have to pay for them. Oh, you do. Yeah. 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 Hey, then you, the, the ones that say Tesla, when you plug it in, they'll start saying how much as it accumulates, how much you're paying. Mm-hmm. And do you do you pay, how do you pay for it? Does, does t- t- Tesla give you like a credit card? It's like it's like Apple Pay. You know, it's like your it's like your Apple on your phone. It's it's connected your bank account. Everything's connected to your. Oh, okay. okay. So, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, Alan. So Elon Musk announced a, a couple of days ago that you will no longer you will have to you'll set up a charger at your house, and it will go underground. The two mm-hmm. little metal strips, and they're going to come out with the cars with those two little metal strips underneath, and you just park your car in the driveway in a certain spot, and yeah. it charges without wires. Except in the rain, then you get electrocuted. Oh well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, but uh, 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 what I heard, well, what I just heard was that uh, Tesla is a lying ple- Tesla. M- Musk is a lying sack of shit. Yeah. Uh, may I explain yeah. why? Okay. Uh, he uh, just announced that he's coming out with a hydrogen car, and a couple okay. of years ago he said he'd never make a hydrogen car. Okay. Yeah. But technology's yeah, he, changed. He, he changed his mind. Yes, Jeff. Yeah. Well, my my son bought at his office. Okay, the office has a couple of cars that are owned that anybody who needs the car they can take it, and so there's. There's that car, but they bought it from the company who was selling those. And once they run over so many miles, they have to get rid of it. And so they got one for a bargain. And they're very happy. And they actually, in the office, they plug it in themselves. Are these Pintos or what type of cars are they? Tesla. A Tesla. Oh, okay. Tesla. Yeah, the less cheap. What Tesla, Pinto the, ever plugged in? They well, plugged I, I, it I at their the office. I think the electricity in the ground's cute because if you don't like the postman, you you get in the driveway and you push the button. He steps across it. it it's a they, they ask him the question on the show: What's going <laughs> to prevent kids or somebody from playing in the driveway and getting electrocuted? And uh, he said the car's got to be in line. And then you push a button and it turns the electricity on and it charges the car. When Alan says a joke, Alex blinks his eyes a couple times and it's yeah. the funniest thing. <laughs> that was a joke. Oh my God, I need a drink tonight. It was funny. Yeah, have a drink. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. No, Boddicker's on the chat saying it's due to the, the Chinese batteries. Uh, yeah, so so yeah, he's right. They, they're, they're trying to convert to the U.S. batteries. They're trying to not let them use the Chinese batteries and all this stuff. So. Are, are the Teslas a Chinese battery? Yes. They are. Yeah, but I think on the more expensive models, they do have the U.S. batteries. And they're, they're lithium-ion, are they not? Yeah, yeah. Not, that's exactly. They, they, in the article today, they're talking about what makes them, and, and that's that's what they're yeah. uh, trying to avoid right now. So trying to get Tesla. What happens? What happens when you use the battery all the time? 
Do they go out of business and and you got to buy a new battery? On well, the you're going to have to buy a new battery eventually. But yeah. they can recycle mm -hmm. lithium ion. Yeah, and I've, I've seen some of the older three models, like the older ones, the first generation, and they say that they like only charge up to eighty percent. Like they're for sale, and they'll say they only go up to eighty percent. So, no. just like everything else, I guess, like a phone same or... thing with the hybrids, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, uh, from what I understand, somebody I saw somebody on uh, YouTube who uh, took his car and um, you know. Um, charged it and kept charging it and kept seeing how long how what percentage it was charging up and after about five years it was still good for about 80 percent or something like that but yeah. they but they do start to die and you have to buy a new one now how much does it cost to oh. replace a tesla battery do you know well yeah that's a good question the battery in a prius is about I think it was about thirty-five hundred bucks than my daughter's Prius that they replaced. And how before, long uh, was that? How long did it? Have? How many years? Here? Well, it's a twenty twelve Prius. We got it about uh, two years ago, and he had just replaced it so she could have a fresh battery. She didn't. He didn't buy a uh, reef man. He bought a uh, brand new battery. A brand new, <laughs> brand new battery. So now, yeah. after two years, it had to be. No, no. After what twenty twelve to oh. twenty. About eight years. Oh, about eight years. years. Oh, okay. Seven years, I think it was. All right. Well, that's not bad. You know, yeah. uh, most that's a hybrid, so it's not always being used. Well, most it's people, you, many times, are just going to get rid of their car after two years. That's okay. what a lot of people. Do, Although, you know? do you think people are going to be keeping their Teslas a lot longer? I wonder if they trade them in before the battery goes. Mm. Well, if I mean, you lease, maybe they'll be more. Can you lease it more? Maybe you think, Alex, or no? What lease the battery? No, like lease the car. Like maybe they won't buy it, and then maybe trade it in. Yeah, but that's if you. Do want they lease te Teslas? I was right. going to ask you. I don't know. I don't have cars. I was wondering if they. Well, lease I was them. asking Brian because he has one. I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't think know. so. I never heard of that. No. See, I, 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 I'm not for leasing cars. Hmm. I, I, you know, I just don't see any value in leasing them. I remember we leased uh, in California. I leased an Acura, and I leased a second one. But I mm. kept them for two years, or was it three years? I can't remember. Three years. They're usually two or three year leases, yeah. But now what happens is you get like 36,000 miles, okay? So what you've got to do is about 12,000 a year. So yeah. now I'm constantly looking at the gas, you know, the, the sp uh, speedometer, or right. odometer, or whatever, whatever you yeah. call it. Mm -hmm. And 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 constantly seeing. I don't want to hit twelve hundred. I don't want to hit twelve thousand. Oh, I, I don't want to hit twelve thousand. Uh, and it just drove me crazy. Yeah, because then I, you get per mile after that. Yeah, I oh, will. Wow. Yeah, that, and Over. it's quite expensive. Yep. So I just decided that I I never want to own another, you know, do another mm -hmm. lease. That's ridiculous. Yes. That's what my neighbor does. He does nothing but leases cars, and he commutes from here. To Palo Alto or Sunnyvale every day. Wow. I don't know how the hell he does it. Oh my God, traffic is terrible by way. I'll follow the road. Yeah. Mm, but the yeah. mileage is incredible because yeah. I used to I used to commute from here to Santa Clara every day, and that was uh, about three thousand miles a month. Holy shit, that's yeah. a lot. I mean, it was yeah, a, I, mean, I was changing my, oil, changing my oil yeah. every month. Were you leaving four o'clock in the morning? Then probably or really early then. About right? five. Yeah, get to work at six. Mm -hmm. Going, yeah. 180, yeah. I think I'm going yeah. 180 miles three days a week. Charlie's yeah. got his hand up. Yeah. Yes, Charlie. Yeah, according to Google, Tesla batteries are designed to last at least eight years, mm. and and between 100,000 and 150,000 miles before yeah. they have to be replaced. That yeah. sounds about right. Mm -hmm. About right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Now, is that better than the than the batteries in other cars, or are they the same, all of them? In Texas, well, you got to replace your battery every three years. Why? Well, that's a huge battery on the on the uh, on the, yeah. the, the because of the heat. 110 degrees during the summer. Oh, that really? Kills the battery. Well, that's a good point. Yeah, it probably. Well, that's a lead acid battery. Yeah. Yeah. A lead I'm acid. Not, I'm not battery. talking about Tesla's. I'm, I'm talking about. I'm talking about regular te cars. Te yeah, regular well, car battery. Let, let, be well, again, the expert here on this is Brian. What happens with Tesla uh, electric batteries? Uh, do they in hot weather work less efficiently than they do in colder weather? 
No idea. No idea. No idea. I thought you knew all about cars, you piece of crap. <laughs> I drive. I drive six hundred. I drive six hundred miles a, a week to wow. to uh, Lodi, and then two days I go to Sunnyvale. So that that's that's mm-hmm. a lot. Too. Yeah, but you're not using the the Tesla for no, that. I'm not using a Tesla. I'm using my my car. I just yeah, I'm just driving it now till wheels fall off. <clears throat> <laughs> What, what, yeah, well, how, right. how much is gas yeah. now did you say in california yeah, the most out there are? like uh well i play i paid the 91 octane the supreme stuff in all my cart and that's uh for about 445 450 right now a gallon yeah oh boy oh it's that's, that's cheaper than the six and a half dollars it was a few years ago a year ago or something like yeah. that yeah 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 Funny how gas prices come down. The Republicans blame Trump for, I mean, Biden for gas prices going up. Now that they're going down, they're, all of a sudden the Republicans are quiet. Yep. Well, I mean. Oh, no, no, no. You know what Trump said? You know what Trump said tonight? No, Trump please. said the reason why the economy is changing is because he's up in the polls. Everybody yeah. thinks he's going to be president. That's what he said tonight. He said because uh, the gas and all this stuff is turning around because I'm leading in the polls, so they know I'm going to be president again. So they're already reacting to it. Yeah, right. right. Uh, I'm yeah. sorry. The market. He said people, the, yeah. con- the economy. The market this year. What? Yeah, he said the market. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he said he hopes that the market crashes. Yeah. He said he hopes. He did say that, but yeah. He kind of alluded yeah. to it. Yeah, he said that he hopes the economy. Shouldn't he have said, "I hope it doesn't." You would Either. think. No, they sure, questioned sure. him and he backed it up again. Said two times. So yeah, you know, see, the, guy, the, guy is, the guy is the wor- take care of it. The guy's the worst kind of human being, yeah. isn't he? He's <laughs> Can just I say a something terrible, else? terrible no. human being. What? Tony would be a better president. Yeah, you know, I don't want to even think this, but I don't want to get you demonetized, but I'm gonna tell you something. He's no. the type of guy, right? Right Trump. You want to take Wait a minute, you don't want me, rivers, before you right? go ahead, you don't want me to get demonetized. I'm going to say well, nice. How am I going to get demonetized well, this, by I'm gonna, something I'm going to basically said. say about an ex-president, which which disgusts me to say this. Put the cement boots on, Donald. We just want to see if they fit. <laughs> and then push them over and say, have a nice life. Because he's a douchebag, really. <laughs> I mean, he's just a total douchebag, really. I, just thinking of him makes me sick now. His arrogance... Only Tony would say that. Yeah. He's just he's such a prick. He's three the guy months, three who, when my mother ago. made me peanut butter and jelly, he had the ham and cheese. Oh, your mom can't afford ham and cheese? You want to take your right hand and punch him right in the face. He needs to be an Alex, this guy. I'm telling you. Trump Six needs to be. Six months ago, he was I don't even have coffee tonight. I'm ready to kick his ass. <laughs> I can't take him. I can't take him. I'm not even joking about it. Listen, I want to tell you what the sad part about all of this is. What? That he's leading in the polls. Okay, you know, and I, I, Marjorie says, "What's going to happen to this country?" I said, "If they reelect him, America's getting what they deserve." Exactly. You know, actually, you're seeing this, and the rest of you should head for the border. You know, they would vote for Al Capone, Alex. I'm telling you. Yeah, I mean, he's what? What did they say? Oh, this was uh, this. He was went to court this week because he wanted to get his case thrown out because he should, yeah. you know, he should not be... Especially he's a president. He, he has, he's got to have immunity. He has immunity. Yeah, he has yeah, presidential immunity. And they asked his lawyer, just a hypothetical question, about if he went out and I think, uh, oh yeah, ordered uh, the um, uh, CIA to, kill, to yeah. k- kill one of his enemies while he was in office. Does Please. that give him presidential immunity? And the lawyer said yes. There you go. Exactly. He can do whatever he wants. Well, Biden's president, so he can order his, his uh, SEAL Team 6 to go shoot Trump. Yeah, but SEAL Team fine. 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You well, know, I cannot believe... Alex, here's a question I ask everybody. How do we look... The, the this? If you would have told me 20 years ago, if I was friends with you, Alex, and I told you, hey, Alex... He said, oh, Tony, did you have two months? In 20 years after his show failed, this guy's going to be the president of the United States, burn down the Capitol pretty much, and then get reelected. You would say, are you high on drugs? 
<laughs> I mean, you can't make it up. Well, years ago, he let us know what he was thinking when he said mm -hmm. that he could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and get yeah. away with it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, he believes I mean, I, he. he I, I think, can't even make it. Up. I mean, he says he's going to get even. He's going to have reprisals against his enemies yeah. if he gets elected. He also there's an indication that if he get he wants to get elected because he's going to try and sneak out of these uh, all these things that are are he's charged with, which I imagine I don't know if he can do it. But Alex, I think he wants to release the rioters too. Oh, yeah, he says he's going oh, to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a real cupcake. Let him out. Yeah, you only killed a couple of cops and went nuts in there. But we'll let him free. What the hell? It's, it's Really? It's like, I'm going to tell you something. Well, he, tell you he needs to take a dirt nap, really. I hate to say it. What's the worst is the Republicans themselves, who are now in a state of denial the January 6th even oh, yeah. took place. Never happened, Alex. Never happened. These are just a bunch of nice people who wanted to visit the Capitol. They were just looking around. They were looking to see if Nancy was in her office. She wasn't in her office, so they they went in and sat down anyway. You know, took a dump. Yeah, it took, it took a dump. Yeah. Link, Lincoln Project did a good uh, montage on some stuff he was just recently saying about that whole day, and then they would, yeah, you know, it was a beautiful day, and then they would show the rioters going at the police. Here, here's what's okay. terrible. He is saying, currently in his speeches, yeah. some absolutely horrible things. But nobody's reporting it because they've gotten so used to Trump doing that crap, they don't consider yeah. it news. Well, that's just, you know, you know the, the Trumpists say they were talking to them. Well, that's just the way he is. I love how every poppy, everybody poppycocks what he says. Can you imagine if any of us talk like this? They would arrest you, really. They'd be, oh, I mean, if we had to shit, well, you did. When I, in, a, in my entire lifetime, if anybody said the things that Trump says, they just automatically wouldn't get, they wouldn't even get nominated, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, he he gets away with it now. And, and that's but you know what he's trying to do, Alex? He wants to push that case. Uh, I was listening to Bob Woodward. He was saying he wants to push the case. He's afraid of the case that's coming up in the spring. That's why he wants to delay that. That's the case that's going to hang him by the balls, I think. Which one? The, 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 you mean the, the one that I, the January the, sixth or the Georgia? Yeah. Well, it's the one that's coming up that he wants that court case pushed away, delayed. That's the one he's worried about. Where they have what is it? The uh, his he's got the guy. The, the feds already have one of the guys flipped already on their side. So, so he knows that case. If that can, he wants that to delay it because he knows that's that maybe the there. Washington case. Oh. Maybe yeah, it's one of the yeah, and he wants that one gone, like delayed, so he can prolong himself to get through. I think he knows if that goes through, he's done. Well, I think he I think he's done if any of these other cases come to bear. The question is, the only one that is immune from him being president and being able to stop mm. it is the Georgia case because that's a state case. Uh, but the uh, the one in uh, you know the document case, which we've almost all forget but forgotten about uh, down in Florida that was the Florida case with the documents, you know documents oh that that's right. We forgot about that. The ones, the ones that he was having moved in here. Where, where they were hanging out in the toilet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who puts the fucking things in the toilet? Oh, well, guy. because you want reading matter, don't you? When you're oh, he can't read the fucking funny page. This guy is crooked as an arrow. He's a bad. He's a bad gangster, really. Oh, he is a gangster. I mean, really, he's definitely a gangster. He's Maybe not per se, but he operates like it. No question, he's a gangster. What are they going to put in his library? That's what I want to know. <laughs> a bunch of bro books with blank pages. Do you, know, do you know there's never been any talk of a presidential library for Trump? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Even Bush has got one, right? And that's but no. Terrible. I think you would do very well, Tony, if they had a presidential uh, uh, for, for Trump, a presidential <laughs> library for Trump, because you could sell a whole bunch of comic books to go in there. Yeah, Alex, I've got to tell you something on that note. I, do you know the books are not selling for the same price? I used to get 80 a pop. I had to take one. I marked it down. I had to get $43 for just to push the piece of shit out now. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on to them. Hold on. I'll buy them from you. Uh oh, they, These guys are going to go back again. They'll go up. What, I don't know. Wait, I, think wait, what was this? I think he's dimming because I used to get $100 easy. It used to last one week or two, and bang, it used to be gone. Another sucker. I used to always see what state it went to. It was always down south, Alex. Oh, 
Yeah. Texas. They fucking hold down there like it's still like a like it's still the Civil War. I'm telling you. <laughs> Look yeah. at this shit. I said they haven't changed. People don't want to talk about. It. I think you know what this has brought out. People haven't changed. They just he just brought out the nuts from the from the underground. Well, he gives them a sense of permission. Exactly. You know. Yep. Uh, he I, I, you talk about the anti-Semitism in this country. He mm. gives them a sense of permission. Oh, yeah. can I ask you this question, Arx? No. No. Trump's absolutely. Megalomaniac, not. right? Is there anybody in your lifetime that you could say that could that is like him with this ego? Who is running for political office? Well, not even political office, just like an arrogant, like, Listen, bad guy. Uh, in my time, the guy we thought was terrible was Nixon. Okay. Was he like this? No. No. Mm. You know, Nixon at least respected the office. Hey, he got scared. Huh? huh? He got scared. He got scared. He panicked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he was this famous. This guy don't give a shit. Yeah. No, he don't. No, this guy... This guy has no respect for the presidency, has no respect for the Constitution, has no respect for the United States of America, and the liberty for uh, and, the, and the liberty for which it stands, or whatever. And he he he. Um, he well, he I, never read him anyway. So. Yeah, but I mean, he all he cares about it's all about Trump. That's it. The only reason he wants to be president again is not to make mm -hmm. the country a better place in which to live, but so he can weasel out of all these charges against him. I'd love to see him go to jail, man. I really would. You know, I haven't heard from Rudy anymore. Rudy, where are you, Rudy? Rudy, shut up now. I guess I guess he's in the poorhouse. Well, so so we think. That's another guy who should choke in his sleep, Rudy. Those poor two women couldn't even go back to their house, those poor women who worked the election thing. They yeah. were getting death threats thanks to this fucking goofball. Well. What a piece of shit really yeah, is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now you're demonetized. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> it makes me sick, though. These poor women are making a hundred dollars a day to work the election, and they pick them off because just to use their power. At them. These were just two people who were doing what they considered was a decent uh, community yeah. service, which they maybe got paid a little bit for, but a community a bit money. service. My mother did that once. Yeah, and, not and, a lot. They gave you lunch and, and a couple and, of bucks. And God knows those poll workers. Well, ask uh, ask uh, Kevin. Kevin here. Kevin's a poll worker. It's Kevin not, was a poll worker. It, it's not easy. My mother did it, it's back. not They're easy. They're already warning us. Really? Oh, really? Warning us. Warning, yeah. warning you about what? Oh, we've been. Yeah, they're going to start training us. What next? Next two weeks from now. Are we going to give you a gun? I don't know. That's what I'm going to ask for. <laughs> the sheriff down I, here I, is, is advocating for. That. He's advocating for what? The Second Amendment stuff, you know, because. Uh, Newsom signed this thing where you, even concealed carry people can't carry a gun anywhere. Good. And the sheriff down here is uh, fighting that because really? it, it doesn't make sense because it's going against people that are actually, you know, law abiding citizens that carry guns, which I agree. They carry? With. Oh, it's a right to carry. I'll tell you though, the only concealed, difference between... concealed carry. The only difference between a, a decent person with a gun. And a bad Ooh. person with a gun is a good person with a gun who went crazy. You know? And what's to say that, you know, people aren't going to suddenly go off the deep end and they got a gun and they're going to do something about it, you know? You never know. I, would, I, don't, I feel uncomfortable if somebody has a gun if I knew it, like on them. In the, I would feel uncomfortable. Don't go to Arizona. Like, what am I doing here, really? Yeah. Don't go to Arizona. Why? Every, you can walk into 7 Eleven and the guy will have a. Have that one would, on yeah, that would make, I'm always in 7 Eleven. That would scare me. Like, what right, could you, you, can you, can you? Can you buy them easily down there, too? Well, you can open carry there. Ooh, I, really? I, I was yeah, driving. You a I, I own Put rental property. Sorry. Yeah. I own rental property in Tucson. I, I was at a stoplight and a bunch of outlaw bikers ride up and they all are open carry uh, guns. If they don't have a felony, they can open carry. Yeah. So and and that's in Arizona, and I surprised me, but hey, you walk into Seven Eleven, guy's got a gun on his shoulder just like a cop does. Yeah. When in, in Texas, yes, we go. In Texas, <laughs> <a> gun. <laughs> and Charlie, oh, what about probably... Charlie? Charlie, you, you see all the gun racks? They have uh, gun racks everywhere in Texas. Oh yeah. Well, it used oh, to be it, the, you, on the back, on the back window of their pickup truck. Yeah, yeah. in, yeah, in Texas, cowboy hats from those. In Texas, you, I remember the law was you couldn't conceal carry, 
but you could carry it on your hip. Yeah. Open carry, yes. Open carry, yeah. yeah. Well, that's the way it was in California way back. Yeah. I mean, now you can do it either do way. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, I mean, it, it's, um, hmm. it, you know, it, it, it just, I think, gotten out of hand all the way around. But I'm sad to hear that you have to worry about yourself being a poll person. But this, yeah, I don't think it's that big a deal down here. We do got a lot of crackpots down here. Well, he's, but I don't he's think a, there's yeah, crackpots. but but Kevin's a pretty big guy, and nobody's going to screw with him. I don't get screwed with. I'm bigger than he is. My problem is that I run the I run the polling place, so oh. they, they'll come after me, not the people that are doing that are working for me. Yeah, <laughs> take a shotgun with you and just leave it there. Yeah, well, I know all the I'll, sheriffs. I'll lend you one. You probably got some. How, how much do they pay for that job? Uh, I don't know. It's different every time. I think I got like six hundred bucks. I think because I'm I get paid a little more because I run the place. We yeah, four four polling places. So I think it's about six hundred bucks. But I work four days. Yeah. Well, isn't it nice that you could uh, get six hundred bucks and in, in the end, what you get for it is not being able to go back to your home because people have been threatening yeah, you. I mean, yeah. Right? <laughs> you know? I, boy, that was really <laughs> worth six hundred bucks. Yeah. I mean, My question they, is, who, who is planning on uh, leaving the United States if, if Trump becomes president? Yeah, I remember all those oh, people yeah. said they were going to leave. <laughs> well, yeah, I, where, I, are we gonna, I, where are we going to go? I, I gave up saying yeah. I was going to leave if so and so was going to get away. The are coming across the border this way, and the Americans are yeah, going no in Yeah, it's going to be a reverse. Yeah. But anyway, you know. Well, your governor in New York has sure screwed things up, hasn't he? Yeah, what hasn't he? Mayor? Well, to begin the mayor. With, uh, mayor. The mayor, uh, yeah. sorry, of New York. Because the governor of New York's a woman. No, no, no. That, no, the, the, no the, the, I'm sorry, the mayor. Boy, with this, uh, uh, they have some kind of thing where anybody can come in and, and they provide them shelter or something. They're using the school gym. The the gym, the school gym, they're kicking, uh, they're putting all the immigrants in there. Yeah, well, the gymnasium. Oh, some of those people may grow up to be president of the United States. Well, we've got a real problem here in New York, and mm -hmm. that is, of course, that uh, uh, DeSantis and uh, your governor down in uh, down in Texas, Texas. have been uh, sending uh, the immigrants up here by bus. You know? What I don't get, number one, our mayor has said they can no longer come in. The buses can't come into Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And if they do, if they do, they'll be repossessed and held up for a fine. Oh, fuck. yeah. But they're already doing that in California. It's a little a late if, to do that. Secondly, I don't know why one of these, but what, like if the, the, the mayor of New York doesn't charge the governor of Texas with kidnapping. Yeah. Because the crime's not happening in... Because they're saying you're going to get a job, sign the paper, and they sign the paper. Yeah, but, that, that, but that's a lie. I know, I know, I know. If, if so I say know. to you, uh, say to your daughter, hey, come, just sign this note saying to your dad, I've gone with Alex and it's, uh, I, I, I wanted to go. Start okay, and then I the kidnap her. Uh, you know. Yeah. Start yeah, and pounding... Start impounding the buses, arrest the bus drivers for uh, interstate commerce, for moving illegal people across a state line. I mean, California is doing it. They're taking the buses. You notice not many buses. California is not well, much see, in the The problem state. with New York is years ago, somebody passed a law in New York City that said that this was a... Uh, what was the term they use? Oh, uh, I remember we said it was a, a right a, to a, 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 a right sanctuary to, state. Sanctuary state. Yeah. Well, sanctuary state or city? Is that I'm trying to remember. City. Right. city. Sanctuary city. You're, you're guaranteed yeah. board. And you so to. you were guaranteed like 30 days. Yeah. Room and board. Yeah. To anybody who wanted it, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought Chicago is one too. Chicago's one too, and that's why they send them to both so these San places. Francisco, but they haven't got they haven't got hit very hard. Well, I think that Newsom is going to go after them, isn't he? Yeah. Well, he's he's threatened and has impounded the buses and arrested the bus drivers. So the guys are saying, "No, we're not going to California. We'll just go to New York or 
or something like that. So Yeah, well, it, w what we should do is turn the buses around, not let them in. Turn the buses around and, you know, they can't stop anywhere else because there aren't sanctuary cities between here and Texas. And it's a shame. They're using these people as pawns back and forth. Oh, it's terrible. It's, it's terrible. it's terrible. It's terrible for those people. You know, yeah, it's terrible. It's to go people. Back. Like, where are we going? The people in New York are complaining that Central Park is becoming filled with people living camping out. And, I, well, I haven't know. seen any of it, but then again, I I really yeah. haven't been out of the house for a week or two weeks. Wait your taxes go up to pay for all these people in New York City. Well, I mean, here's the worst part of it: the government isn't helping us out. Yeah, he no, should be helping New York a little bit. You know, they're, they're putting these people in parks. It was just on the news last night or something. They're putting these people in parks, but yet they're so they can support, afford to feed these people. They are they are firing or laying off the uh, the park the, service workers and the firemen too and stuff like that. Yeah, fire and police. Yeah, but right department. now, right now, they uh, I'm sure they aren't staying in the park. No, because they can't. it's, it's so way cold. too cold here to stay. It was blowing park. around yesterday like crazy. It was terrible last night, Alex. Yeah, oh, it was. That rain was. I was taking the garbage and it was blue. Oh, the why did you man. take some of them in? Well, I got the apartment rented already. I bet you I'd get a good buck for them if I wanted. To. Uh, you you <laughs> moved you, you moved to the garage and let them take your yeah. room. My brother will come home from the weekend. Where who are these people? Oh, don't worry about it. We got the check from the city. <laughs> You know, I mean, it, in your room, it's and, a and, and it's there. sad it's because a lot of these people who've been shut, yeah, sh sh shuttled up here yeah. uh, are are decent people with yeah, you know, family family people who only cared about a better life for their family because they had to leave their countries because they were a hellhole of crime. Yeah, I mean, you know, I and, and, and they're not all coming from Mexico. A lot of people like to think they're coming from Mexico. Guatem where are they coming from? Guatemala, Venezuela, Venezuela. <laughs> Argentina. Places like that. Uh, I don't think that many from Argentina, actually. Well, no. they they let, uh, I think somebody said 250,000 Argentinians left their country. Oh, really? <laughs> now, where are they in? The, uh, In Connecticut, where else? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, none of these people are going, uh, they're not being, they're not sending them into northern New York, I don't think. I think they're all in New York City, you know, and it's uh, you know it's 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 terrible. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I don't like our mayor. I think our mayor is terrible, but I do feel sorry for the problem he's got been handed him, you know, that he's incapable of solving. Okay, yep. he just doesn't have the ability to solve it, you know. Nope. But um, anyway, crime rates going up. The office space. The, these people are going into stores and burglarizing stores and robbing no, stores. Uh, Everything is locked up. I went to Target and underwear is locked up. Oh, oh, don't really? oh Men's yeah. underwear is locked up. Oh, oh, I, I went in because you wanted to pink underwear in the men's underwear department. I went into Rite Aid and I, everything is locked up. Everything. Yeah. You know, yeah. even a stick yeah. of deodorant. You know, yeah, because I mean, they were just going in, and they were going in and stealing because somehow we had a, a, a district attorney here in town who said, we're not going to arrest people for crime under a thousand dollars. So people go in and st st steal a thousand dollars worth of stuff or nine hundred ninety nine dollars worth of stuff. <laughs> You're the threshold. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's crazy. You got to lock up so the, the newest know. thing we have. a We have a proposition that came through about six or eight years ago it's called proposition 47 and it says that it's no longer a felony to burglarize a car now if it's under um 995 dollars not including the damage to the car and now the newest thing that the state did is you've got to prove that your car i don't know how you do this you've got to prove that the doors were locked otherwise they're not going to charge them so what do you do every time you get out and park your car? You take pictures with yourself. I, I don't know, but ever since I was a kid, if a door to a car was left open, and many times in those days when I was growing up, they were left yeah. open because people didn't care. Right. But if you went in and opened up the car and then went and took some stuff out of the car, I'm sorry, you're stealing. Mm -hmm. You know. I think I think the way to solve it is put boxes 
of these, uh, what do they call that, the rattler snakes in there. And when somebody opens the door, they get bit by a rattlesnake. And so the, what happened at our house was there's two guys walking into the driveways, walking down. This is the you know dead of night. And they're they're checking door handles on cars. Mm-hmm. And then on, on my, you know, your citizen thingy, Alex, yeah, I have yeah. the one for the ring door. And all like at least once a week, there's somebody seeing guys walking down, checking door door handles. And then there was a car that sort of follows them. Their buddies in the car following them slowly while they're going in and checking. So they check and they open and they look for something and they walk over and they, they shove it in the car and they go to the next house. Can I ask you a question? Do you have a ring device on your house? Yes. You, okay. Yeah. Let me ask you. I don't need to put one on mine, but you have a ring device. What prevents yeah. somebody from stealing the ring device? Well, if they had like a like pliers and just grab the whole thing and rip it out, mm-hmm. yeah, they could do that. But they still have camera of them walking up. They could yeah, be in the they, food. They, 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 they the doing it before but a camera it, dies. Yeah, it's not it's not just a thing that's just glued to the door. I mean, mine is hardwired in. Yeah, so the camera's there. Well, but I it's hardwired in. But neighborhood, Brian. Hmm. I it's said a, Brian should move to a better neighborhood. No, no but, but there <laughs> are a, 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 a lot of them are Wi-Fi, not hardwired. That's you true. Know? Yeah. yeah I just wondered. Hardwired to the doorbell. The same thing. Hard, as Wi-Fi. Hardwired to the doorbell, though. They're, right. They're, yeah. They're wired to the is. doorbell. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Only for ring, power. Brand. Only for power. All of them are Wi-Fi. Only for power. Rather battery yeah. operated. Mm-hmm. There's a front of my house right now. That's a friend of your house? Yeah, it's raining. Oh, look, somebody's <laughs> stealing something. <laughs> you, can, you can talk to her, too. So I see you. He took the sprinkler heads. Well, is it, is it a color camera, by the way? Yes. Yeah, yeah actually, it's pretty good. And there's, there's my daughter coming home. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Earlier. You can speak to them too, Brian. Earlier. Them too. And, then, and then I can say hello. Or if there's yeah, a work. Could I do that to the postman? Oh, so it, it constantly makes a recording? Yeah, and yeah, it goes to the yeah. couch and ring. Adrian usually when she leaves, she'll she'll go to the ring and say bye, Daddy. Yeah. Well, I got one stuck up on the I'll house, so I can record who's coming back. up on top of it. <laughs> yeah, but this is just at the ring door. Now you they have the floodlights that are on my drive, my garage, and they have floodlights that have cameras on them. So you when those the things illuminate at night, they can also. And they're so clear. Yeah, oh, that, I said in the backyard, Brian. It goes right off, and somebody walks in the back. Like, there's me in blue. Yeah, it's, it's really I, I don't know how I'm doing. Yeah, I think I'm yelling at cars driving too fast. Is that the <laughs> one that looks like a big penis hanging on your? <laughs> no, it wait does. till I turn around. Hold on. No, no, no. It was made in China. It's a small penis. It's got yeah. <laughs> it's got the the camera and then the two lights on the side. I swear to God, it looks like a. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Well, so he's anyway. just like Bezos when he made his logo. I'm going to start playing my theme here. What the hell? We're coming to a close. Boy, it's been a nice hour. It's been very yeah. kind of copacetic, as it were. God, I haven't heard that term in years. Anyway, hey, uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, what are we doing tomorrow on the show? Nothing that we haven't already done today. Uh, but uh, we want to thank uh, Alan for joining us tonight. And we want to thank uh, Brian for being here. Thank you, Brian. Uh, There is a big thank you out to Charlie and a sympathy for having to live in Texas. Also, Jeff, (laughs) thank you so much. Uh, 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 Of course, Tony, who lives uh, lives closer to me than any of you do. Thank you. And thanks to to, uh, to Kevin as well. Thank you, Kevin. And uh, that's about it. Uh, I guess we just say... Uh, why don't you all wave goodbye and I'll wave goodbye at you, okay? And there they go. That's our citizen panel. All right? There they go. Uh, they'll be back again tomorrow night, most of them. Uh, and uh, uh, just, uh, you know, stay right where you are, everybody, because there's another show coming right up. It's going to be the intersection with Amy Manuel. So that's a goodie. Uh, we'll see you again uh, tomorrow night, uh, same time same station in life i should stall this because well I'll, I'll 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 sign off a few seconds early and we'll see you tomorrow night same time same station in life in the meantime as always if you see her tell her i love her okay good night everybody bye